I remember I met her at a park the first time. So many sad things had happened to her. She told me about her father. He died of a heart attack when she was about 10. And a drunk driver killed her mother two years later. That's all she ever really told me about her family. They didn't like to talk about it much. I still remember her first day at school. She used to sit way in the back of the classroom, staring straight ahead, looking at the teacher, paying such close attention. I never even bothered to look at the people sitting next to her. She was always just so, just so deep in her thought. She was so solitary and always so sad, traveling her imagination. Who knows where she might have been, wandering alone in her mind. She never really said much at class. You want to sit down? I'm Max. So what's your name? Mary. I saw you picking up a leaf. You're collecting them, right? I mean, it's all right. I there's nothing wrong with that. I used to not exactly the same thing, but I used to collect rocks from the beach. Uh, you find all kinds of good ones at the beach, every color you can imagine. My favorite was my favorites were red and blue, I think. But I don't know. My dad, he thought I was wasting my time, and he. He's always calling me crazy and stuff, so kind of knocked it off. Didn't want to end up in mental hospital. Yeah, my dad kind of loses it occasionally. So do you like the park? I come here a lot. I like to play basketball. How about you? You're flirting with him. That guy from work. What was his name? Karen, you quit that job. I can't. I need it. Karen, I'm not telling you to quit your job. It's just, I don't want to see you going back there with that guy again. What the fuck was his name? We're just friends. Friends, my ass. Karen, you quit that job. Don't go back there. They'll fire me. Good. I don't want to see you going back there with that guy. Stop. Go back to your job. Go back to your job with that guy and don't tell me his name. You know Jane, right? We're going out tonight. How's school today? You know, school is school. It's the same as always. That's good. Your teacher called. He wanted me to tell you that your poetry got published. I didn't know you wrote poetry. You know what my dad would have said to me? Poetry is for silly people. Well, you... At least you're not out there collecting rocks. I guess it's okay, poetry. It's time for me to go. So don't stay up late, okay? Good night. Good night. Come on, sunshine. Just get in the car, would you? 
David. Dirty Jason gonna go for a ride. What do you say? Are you coming or not? I live in this old house. It's got these great windows, you know, big, beautiful picture windows. And especially in my room, I have this beautiful look into the yard. And every morning, I used to look out into the grass out there, and I'd see a bird sitting on the red fence, while other birds were just sitting in the lemon tree. It was really strange. And one morning, I tried to take a picture of it, and it just flew away. It got scared. Never come back. No. No, Dad. I'll, I'll pay you back. I promise I'll get you that money. Sorry, you don't even have a job. I know, but... I wasn't stealing. Don't get smart with me. What'd you do with the money? I bought a new basketball. Basketball? No, I'm sorry, I promise. I'll get you that money. What happened to the basketball you had, Max? Don't you ever steal from me again. I mean it next time. I'm talking to you, Max. I know, Dad. I'm listening to you. Good. Good. Now fix yourself up. It's almost time for school. Look, Max, I have an appointment this afternoon. So, could you please be out here on the stairs waiting for me at, right after school? Okay. So why is it you always look so sad? I don't always look sad. Whatever. I'm not sad. I don't feel sad. You never smile. I smile. Was, I smile. I swear. Hey guys. I'm always guys, smiling. Guys. You never smile. I'm and always it shows. Smiling. You never smile. No matter what happens, you've got to keep smiling. Always. All right. What about even when you're not happy? Like the world you're... looks better when you smile. It's a sad world if you're not happy. But if it's fake, what's the point? It's not real if you don't well, feel that you're happy. Why smile? Would you like some chocolate? Sure. You know, I'm gonna be a writer someday. How come? I just have things to write about. I don't know. What do you want to be? I don't know. I really don't know. Hello? Yes, this is she. Who's that on the phone? I'm dying to know. Was it... 
That dumb kid Max down the street? Who? You're my wife. When I ask you a question like that, I need an answer. You showed me some respect. I was trying to talk to my friend there and you just kept yelling at me. I want to know who you're talking to. My friends are your friends. So, since when is the personal life of my wife none of my business? One person freaking calls me and you're getting all bitchy about it? This is ridiculous. Karen, there is a difference between is going. No, no, there's a big difference. There is no. Difference. No, 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 because. Hear me out. When I'm away, I'm going to a bar. That's in public. But yeah, but I don't know who the hell you could be talking to. I mean, that like, said. I'm right here, you know? Yeah, so this right am I. I'm just on the phone. It's no big deal. I'm just talking to someone on the fucking phone. Karen, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. When you're on the phone, uh, from now on, uh, you know, I won't ask who it is. You are so insincere right now. I know, no way. Do you want to walk home, Max? Huh? Do you? No. You shut the hell up. God damn you, Max. I've been waiting out here for 30 minutes. Are you in some trouble at this school? No. Look, Max. You said you were going to be out here waiting for me. Now I'm waiting for you. How stubborn can you get, pal? I promise. I won't keep you here again. I'm not happening again. Huh. Is this shit ever going to end? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's over. Nice going. Come on, Dan. Won't be late again. I will not be late anymore. All right. Get the hell out of this car. How's your short story coming? It's coming pretty good. Hey, have you heard the natural joke? What natural joke? Okay. What is it? Okay. There's uh, this blonde. She walks in the store and she's got this bright white hair. And this little girl looks up and says, Why is your hair that light? And she goes, Well, it's natural. So then this uh, lady comes in with this. Black, black, black hair. And she still looks up and goes, 
Why is your hair so dark? And she goes, well, it's natural. Then this lady walks in with this bright green hair. She goes, why is your hair bright green? She goes, well, it's natural. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> you ever heard that before? No. It, it's a very stirring joke. It's very interesting. I didn't hear what she said. She said nothing. Why do you always side with her? Um, well, I'm going to the shooting range tonight, so I have these. Do you want to come? I've got work to do. How about you, Mary? You want to come? God damn it. What? I didn't say anything. Listen, if you've got something to say, and that goes for your sister too, you say it so everybody can hear it. I don't want to hear any fucking whispering. Oh. You want me to be bitter? Is that what you want? If that's what you want, then I'll be bitter. Shut up! Just shut the fuck up, you asshole! Aren't you afraid of him? No, I can't do anything about him. But she's your sister. He's an asshole. That's what he is. Always an asshole. I just want to kill him. Hey, where are you going? Max, where did you get those bags? I bought them from a homeless guy. You bought them from a homeless guy? Those guns are probably stolen. They probably used them to kill somebody or something. You have no idea what they've been used for. Stupidity of people strikes me. Yeah. They're leaning against the sign that says don't go in the water while taking their clothes up to get in the water. But it's uh, disgusting. Their fingernails are gonna fall out. They're gonna lose their fingernails. How cool. Okay. Why? Look at all these birds. Why there's so many birds at the beach? I don't know. I guess it's just one of life's many mysteries. Well, you know, actually, I'm sure they're probably here to eat all the, you know, the fish and sea creatures in the ocean. Probably eat all our garbage that we leave on the beach. Yep, you know? our garbage. Uh, one man's trash is another man's food. <laughs> one is another bird's food. No, the bird's they food. are scavengers, you, you know. Pretty messy people. They're helping clean up our beaches. Well, good for them. And there's a, you know, a lot of wildlife for them to eat. There's nothing you could do about it. He loved you so much. You know how Dad was. He was always on your side. Like when you were little, I remember your mom got so mad because you had food and dirt all over your face and she'd drag you down the hall, scrub your face off, and Dad would hear you crying and he would come and save you and let you be dirty. <laughs> were, you, were you mad when Dad married my, my mom? At first, yes. But after a while I got to know her and she's a pretty good mom. 
She's kind of like my mom. Are you scared, Karen? Sometimes. Why'd you even marry him? I was afraid of being alone. He, he was such a nice guy when I first met him. But then he started drinking and... Whatever, people change. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Max. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Aren't you going to open it? No. I think I'm gonna hold off a little while. Wait until I'm bored or something. Can I get a glass of water, please? God damn it, can you not see what I'm doing here? I'm calculating the bills. And I asked for a simple glass of water and you refuse? If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have water to drink. Do you want to know why? I'm busy. I'll tell you why. It's because I help pay the bills around here. And what do you do? Nothing. David, I have something important to tell you. Sure. David, it's very important. Listen, Charlie. Save it for later. We can talk if you want to talk. We have all night to deal with this. David, I can't wait. I really want to hear what you have to say. David, please. No, really. I can't fucking wait. David, I'm having a baby.
No. No, never. I've taken good care of those roses. We, we did. Dad and I. But sometimes I'm afraid that they might die, but they seem to have a life of their own. Soul of their own. Do you want anything else to drink? No, nothing. What the hell's wrong with you? What took you so long just to open up the goddamn door? You're drunk. God, no I'm not. Please let me inside. David, you promised me you wouldn't drink anymore. Now look at you, you're a mess. No, I'm not. Now let me inside the house. Don't yell at me. I'm not yelling, Karen. I'm asking you nicely. Now let me inside the house. I want you to get out of here. Something wrong, Dad? Where is it, Max? Where's what, Dad? Don't what, Dad? Me! My wallet! Your wallet? How sh I didn't touch your wallet. How many times do I have to tell you not to lie? How many times, huh? Well, lots of times, but I'm not lying to you. I didn't touch you. You can be so com- You are completely blind. I am not a thief. I'm not a liar. Last night, you came home drunk. You probably dropped your wallet. You think you can outsmart me? Huh? Don't outsmart me, boy. Don't! You'll be sorry. You don't come out now from running from me. I just want to talk, Max. Let's talk. Almost here. You have to go. You have to go now. No, I'm not gonna leave. Yes, you. now, or he's gonna get us both. No, Just go. No, I'm staying Just here. Go. Look, I'm not gonna leave you alone with a madman. I'm staying here with you. Ah, where the hell are you? Come out here!
What is it? You don't love me anymore? What? You can't whip this out? Come on, Karen. All those things that are done to you, all that pain I've caused you, I'm sorry. Take it. I have enough money for rent. You can do whatever you want with it. No, no, it's, it's not the rent. You don't understand what I'm trying to and do. And I don't want to know what you're trying to do. How's Max? Mm. He's fine. Fine. Are you sure? Yeah. He's fine. So what are Max's parents like? I don't know them very well. So, what'd you give him in the box? Toy soldiers. So he has a little army. So what does his dad do? He is a fireman. What does he do in his spare time then? Do him and Max get along? Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Yeah. Yeah. Are you trying to hide something? No. That was so obvious, Mary. I don't know what you're talking about. What's going on with Max and his dad? Nothing. They're fine.
ever wondered? About what? Oh God, you know whether it exists. And I didn't talk to him. I mean, you know, we wandered past that that homeless guy the other day, and he had that sign that said, "If there is no God." I mean, I'm just wondering what you thought of that. I, I don't know. Just kind of. I mean, if there is a god, we must have pissed him off pretty good. I'm really sorry about what happened. I'm really sorry about what I did. I'm sorry, okay? We can still be friends, right? Why did you do it? Why? You think that you can fix the world, Max? The entire world? No. Just part of it. You mean you don't want to know if God and the devil really exist? Don't you? I mean... I'm afraid that he might punish you. Don't you believe in God, Max? Because I know. I don't. just heard a gunshot and then, uh-huh. No, I, I don't. Okay. The address is 1345 Pine Street. Yeah. It's a little house with a red fence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's in the kitchen.
Max, are you scared? Yeah. What about you? I feel nothing. If you could see one thing in this world, what would it be? God. What about you? What would you want to see? I want to see the same thing. So what now? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Mary? What? We'll have to keep fighting, right? I think so. Here, I have something for you. It's a picture of your flower that I drew. I thought maybe you could use it for your book cover. Thanks. <laughs>